Thanks for joining me for this design demo from Pioneer Imports and Wholesale. Today we're going to work on a beautiful, full, bountiful fall arrangement. So it's a perfect color combinations for the autumn season. And what we're going to be using is the canister metal base, some dahlias, hydrangea, cosmos, the garden rose, and we're going to accent with parts of this lotus pod bush and the boxwood, which is in the red yellow. So we're going to begin with our lotus pods because they're kind of going to be our anchor um, for our arrangement. So we're going to insert those low into the design. Because this is going to, like I said, give us an anchor for, a, for our base of our arrangement so that we don't have just all flowers and we're mixing our textures. Obviously the texture that we have in our container plays into the whole thing as well. Now we're going to insert our berries because this is going to give us kind of somewhat of our line of our arrangement. So we're inserting those to give us our length. So you can see this is going to be a long, more narrow centerpiece that we're using for this design. So we're going to start with those. This third berry spray, we're going to go just a little off center so you can see it expands, but it's also coming up just a little bit to give us really great character. For our um, length in the design, we're going to use this pumpkin color in the Cosmos. And as you see, we're going to use the Cosmos on one side for the design. But to balance the color, we're not going to use the same flower. We're going to go ahead and use this garden rose on the other side to extend our length on this one. I like to, and I'm sure many of you are the same way, like to not use the same flower altogether. So we're doing more of a grouping of flowers on this. So I think this one's just a little longer. We're going to go ahead and use that for our length. We want to get as much as length to this container and centerpiece as possible. Well, we want a table that would seat maybe anywhere from 8 to 12. So that's why we're be sure to get a little bit more length to this container. You can see natural greens that we have to go with that and then our berries that are going to extend that. So here we have our pumpkin color in the center now. I want to really focus on this more Merlot in the um, dahlia. So we have the dahlia that we're doing and bringing that through the design. If your foliage is overwhelming the rest of your arrangement, just be sure and slide it down to bring that so it goes into the design and covers our, our mechanics. Um, covering that foam. I'm going to bring, turn this around here. As you can see then, it's giving us what we need on both sides. And this Merlot color is picked up in the center of these garden roses. I know it's really difficult for you to see that right there, but it really is a gorgeous combination with the richness of the Merlot and the lotus pods brought together there. Now then, we're going to accent with the beautiful hydrangea because it's giving us another texture again. And we're going to accent with that in here, and just a few insertions is going to really make that color pop. You can see on this hydrangea bush it has one or two that have just the berries. I actually am going to remove the foliage for that from that because I really like this combination of just the berry coming through and not so much of the um, of the the foliage. We have, like I said before, we could just slip that down to the bottom so we wouldn't see it as much. But in this case, we're just removing it from the berry part. Here, I'm going to insert the hydrangea, so that's coming right over the lip of the container. And again, on the other side, right in front of our pumpkin color. Always remember that to, you can twist these and really are framing that hydrangea beautifully whenever you're using that for an application in your designs. So that gives us both of those. As you can see, and then we want, again, that berry. Can remove that foliage. And this one we're going to insert right through this lotus pod. So it's coming right through the center of our arrangement and it's going to nestle right on top of that lotus pod. You can see how really attractive that is to, to nestle it there and to give that look that we can achieve. And one more insertion of our hydrangea. Move these aside so you can see this beautiful warm 
colors that are beautiful for different home decor, but especially the, the fall or autumn season. Another addition is adding this beautiful boxwood in the warm colors. You can see what this is going to add color-wise to our bountiful harvest. Just a few insertions. It looked gorgeous without, but you can see just this added pop of color is really putting it up to the next level. There we go. A little more spell ash of color. Thanks for joining us. See you next time.